I don't date bald guys. These are two opinions that I heard from my fiance's friends when I asked them about what they look for in a guy that attracts them to that guy. Interestingly, neither of them mentioned anything around personality. It was all focused around physical characteristics and appearance. But the first thing both of them said was, I don't date bald guys. So I'm gonna go through with you three reasons because I asked them, I grilled them about it. I wanted to find out why they came up with that as their primary concern around guys. Before I get into this video, please do whack that subscribe button, whack the notification bell. I want these videos to reach as many people as possible. Heck, who knows, it might actually reach bald guys. It might actually reach bald guys and actually help them or encourage them to move over to a hair system or get a transplant or whatever. And you know what as well? This video might just help justify the beliefs they may well have around baldness and unattractiveness and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna get all into it right now. Please do stay tuned. Reason number one, it comes down to sexual selection. Now, I'm sure that a number of you have heard of natural selection, um, a very famous theory of evolution, theorized by Charles Darwin in the 1800s or 1830s to be specific, but there's also sexual selection which exists. And that's basically where a mate or a female chooses her mate based on his appearance. And we are no different to animals in that we fall under this banner as well. And that's why you'll generally find, and confidence does come into this, I will talk about that later, but that's why you'll generally find that guys in clubs who are naturally better looking tend to get more female attention, they tend to get more girlfriends, they tend to have more one night stands. It's because they're just better looking. And a full head of hair is one of the things that basically gives you the advantage in that dating, attraction, and relationship game. I think this is of particular importance in the digital age because I think number one, we as a species are more obsessed with our appearance than ever, and that's males and females. But on top of that, with online dating apps and stuff like that, you're being judged by basically how you appear in your photo. People aren't meeting you in real life, they're meeting you online, they're meeting you on an app, and they will literally spend probably less than half a second making a judgment on you by looking at your appearance. And I tell you what, if you've got a full head of hair, you 100% give yourself the advantage in that field. If you don't, if you're bald in your picture, I guarantee you that a woman is much more likely to swipe left, I think it is. Haven't been on dating apps for many years, forgive me. But I think they're much more likely to swipe left than they are to swipe right. Because remember, sort of before the internet and before smartphones and stuff, you would literally meet people in person. You wouldn't have hundreds of women or men accessible just through an app and you could literally, if you wanted to speak to them, if you liked the look of them, you could just swipe right or if you didn't, you could swipe left and that'd be the end of it. And I think the problem is that we have now such an abundance of selection that it's probably not a helpful thing and females can certainly afford to be much more selective in who they date and quite often through these digital apps, they are much more likely to pick someone based on their appearance primarily compared to their personality and their character. I think the second reason here is baldness ages you. A majority of guys who will see who have lost all of their hair, more often than not, look older than they actually are. I'll give you an example. So Prince William, so the second in line to the British throne, he is, I think, 41. Now, he's lost all his hair, he lost it quite young, and I don't think the fact that, I think he probably would do himself a favor by actually just shaving the whole thing, but he goes for the old horseshoe look, it's not a good look, and it adds about 10 years onto the guy. And okay, you know, his face shape has changed and he doesn't really have those youthful looks, but, you know, not having any hair on your head 
really doesn't help that and if anything it extenuates uh, that appearance of being older than you actually are. I'd, I'd say he looks closer to 50 and imagine how much older he's going to look when his hair goes grey and white. A full or a fuller head of hair is associated with people who are on the sort of younger end of the scale. You'll quite often find people who wear hair systems, as an example, tend to look younger than they actually are. The hair itself takes years off them and I think that's probably, there's a number of reasons behind it, but the two most obvious ones are your hair is probably going to be slightly more dense than someone of your age who's still naturally got their hair. And number two, the hair is usually going to be fuller with a hair system than if you just have natural, the natural hair of a 40 year old. It's not usually gonna be a full head of hair. There will be some slight recession there. And age is a big factor for women. You know, when they're meeting guys, kind of comes back to the sexual selection thing. They want a man who is fertile. They want a man who can, this is generalizing, but initially they, they want to see a man who could possibly they could have children with who's young enough you know to be a father who's pretty active and having a full head of hair really does help that of course it also helps to maybe have some muscles and to maybe have not quite as many wrinkles as your average 40 or 50 year old but hair really does play a massive factor if i was to take this off right now you would I, the number of times people have said to me when you don't wear your system, you look at least 10 years older. And my skin's pretty good. I don't have many wrinkles. You know, I moisturize a lot. I take care of myself. I eat well. But without that hair on my head, it adds years to me. And I can guarantee that a majority of guys who are wearing hair systems, I'd go up into the sort of 90th percentile, do look significantly older without a system. So this is really important to consider if you're single, and you're in the dating game and you don't have hair, you will look much older than you actually are. And women look for youthfulness, they look for energy, they look for fertility, you know, all of these things they look for in a man. And if you're missing one of those big things and it takes years off you, then you're really operating from a disadvantaged place. Number three, and this is a big one, it's confidence. Now let's be honest guys, when we're going through the hair loss phase, it's very unusual to grow in confidence. Okay, there's always a minority of cases where it does happen, but num the, a number of times you'll see it again and again and again, that when men are going through the hair loss process, they're not gaining confidence, they're losing confidence. Because let's be honest, you know, hair is a massive part of our identity. And in many ways it's associated with youthfulness, masculinity. And I'm gonna be totally frank with you. A lot of guys have come to me and they said, I've lost my hair and it's made me suicidal. So that just shows the massive detrimental impact that losing your hair has on your self-esteem. And women are really good at picking up on this. They are literally emotional lie detectors. If you're not feeling confident, in yourself and you don't feel like you can go up to a woman in a bar with 100% confidence or meet new people, they'll pick up on it. And it's a massive turn off for them. It's a red flag, it'll give them the ick to quote, uh, <clears throat> to quote Love Island. If anyone's into that, you'll know exactly what I mean. By the way, I'm way too old to be watching Love Island still. Why am I still doing that? And this is massive. And that's why, again, the whole baldness thing, it just turns women off, or a lot of women. I don't wanna generalize women here because it sounds like I might be demonizing them. I'm not, I'm, and I don't want to generalize either. I'm just sort of pointing out a few things that I've picked up over the last couple of years that have informed my ideas on this. And I'm not saying women are shallow or anything like that because they're not, but it's also important to remember that when women meet you, first impressions count for a heck of a lot. So obviously confidence is massive. And I remember when I got my first system and you know I used to have very sort of patchy hair, ball patches and stuff, trichotillomania, all of that kind of stuff, which I've covered comprehensively over several videos. But when I got that hair back on my head, I felt like a new man. I felt a million dollars. I felt I could go up to anyone and have a, con uh, have a great conversation and not constantly be worrying or self-conscious about the lack of hair on my head because it massively knocked my confidence. And I noticed I found it much harder to make social connections in the real world. You know, with these ball patches and the thinning hair that I was getting anyway, I felt too scared to go out. I felt too scared to meet new people. I was always thinking, 
I don't feel good enough to speak to this person because I don't feel right in myself. I don't have enough hair on my head. And my fiance's two friends and other people I've spoken to really reinforced that belief, which to me sort of served as a bit of a relief because I was like, I'm right. I I'm actually right here, you know, in my belief around what people might judge me for at that time, a lack of head on my hair and the fact that it was, I suppose back then when I was single, it was weakening my chances within the dating game. So I felt a bit sort of justified in my beliefs around that. Last thing before I go guys, if you wanna actually see a real life female in my videos, my fiance is in one of them where she gives her honest opinion. It's fairly different to her friend's opinions, which again is really interesting. And it sort of backs up what I'm trying to say here. Women in general are not shallow. This isn't necessarily a 100% majority view, but I think it's both, I think it's, it's important to give sort of both sides of the argument. I'm gonna pop that video on the screen now, so please do check that to possibly get a slightly different opinion on things. Thanks for tuning in, I'll see you next time.